coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Air Race E takes first all-electric race flight. Diamond Dart changes engines. And Joby requests FCC approval for RC test flights in San Francisco Bay. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Air Race E takes first all-electric race flight. Air Race E has continued its preparation for the upcoming race season with the first test flight of a piloted all-electric racing airplane. The Nordic Air Racing team, often a front-runner in the preparations for the series so far, took their racer in progress on a 10-minute jaunt at Norway's Tonsberg Airport. The aircraft operated under approval of the Norwegian Civil Aviation Authority, allowing the high-performance, freshly completed aircraft to take its initial manned shakedown run. The test pilot, Ryan Ing Hoff, obtained the honor of being the first of his fellow e-racer pilots to try out the new steed, putting it through its paces. First, Hoff completed slow flight and control tests to ensure the plane behaved as expected, testing out its detuned 50% output of 121 horsepower as he brought the plane up to 140 knots. Ultimately, the aircraft is expected to put out around 200 horsepower in full race output. Airbus, a founding partner of the race series, has provided extensive assistance to the competing teams with research and development data while developing the aircraft. The effort to create higher performing, sustainable electric running gear dovetails into their green aviation plans. Coming up after the break, Qatar selects Boeing 777X freighter. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Qatar Airways selects Boeing 777X freighter. Qatar Airways has placed a firm order for 34 of Boeing's new 777-8 freighters, with an option for 16 more, in a deal that essentially marks the end of the airline's rocky love affair with Airbus. The agreement included an additional MOU for up to 50 737-10s, the largest MAX variant. The carrier's choice of the Boeing aircraft comes after a volley of lawsuits between Qatar Airways and Airbus over manufacturing quality and paint flaws in its fleet of A350s in a London high court. Kadex Aero Supply releases King Air 350 LED wingtips. Kadex completed the STC process and stocked up on their Hyperion 2 LED wingtip lighting kit for Beechcraft King Air 350s. The upgrade provides all the niceties that come with the Jump 2 LED tech, freedom from finicky, delicate bulbs, unnecessarily high power draw, and poor output. The Hyperion 2 builds on the company's previous Hyperion 1 success for the King Air C90, 200, 300, and 1900 series. JetBlue offers free flights to attendees of police funerals. Following the tragic ambush and murder of two New York City police officers, JetBlue Airlines offered free flights to their family members and law enforcement who wished to attend the funerals. The move was a public show of support by the company, one the airline says is a matter of course as New York's hometown airline. The killings occurred last week when officers Jason Rivera and Wilbert Mora were attacked at a Harlem apartment in the city's Manhattan borough while responding to a call of domestic violence. Alaska Airlines pilots re-elect union officers. The Alaska Airlines Master Executive Council of ALPA has re-elected its officers, 
And for the second time in a row, the MEC has displayed a significant sign of unity by electing all positions by acclamation. These officers will continue to advocate on the pilot group's behalf to get their concerns with the contract addressed, which include improvements to job security and quality of life. These improvements would help bring the contract more in line with the pilot's industry peers. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Diamond Dart changes engines. Diamond Aircraft's Dart program has seen a few changes, replacing its power plant with the PT-6A 25C turboprop engine sourced from Pratt & Whitney, Canada. The change removes the original engine for the program, General Electric's 550 horsepower H75A turboprop. The move to the venerable PT-6 is said to be necessary to meet program deadlines, as the GE product is yet to be fully certified and ready for widespread use. With the Dart expected to be EASA certified by the end of 2023, Diamond decided to move forward with the turnkey solution while it can. CEO of Diamond Aircraft Austria, Li Chen Zhang, says, quote, After careful consideration, we came to the conclusion that an adjustment of the Dart program was necessary in order to move forward with the aircraft certification process. In order to meet our target timeline and as the window of opportunity on the market as well as with interested customers is limited, we decided, in close consultation with our R&D department, to pursue our DART program with the proven and certified 750 SHP PT-6A 25C turboprop engine from Pratt & Whitney Canada." End quote. The DART is an all-composite aerobatic turboprop trainer in tandem seat configuration, offering an advanced pilot training platform. Coming up after these messages, Joby requests FCC approval for RC test flights in San Francisco Bay. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the Record Out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. Joby requests FCC approval for RC test flights in San Francisco Bay. Joby Aviation requested FCC approval for use of the frequencies and bands for prospective aircraft testing on the company's S-4, which recently received its airworthiness approval. The prime testing locations are near some of the most popular sightseeing destinations in the Bay Area, with one between the Golden Gate Bridge of San Francisco and the other not far off the coast of Alameda. Test flights are the next item on the agenda as they shake out their eVTOL aircraft, which will soon be joined by a second pre-production unit. Should all go well, Joby expects to begin commercial operations in 2024. The current spec for the S4 grants an impressive, if short-lived on battery power, 200 miles per hour top speed and a maximum range of 150 miles, carrying four passengers and a single pilot. While the design is expected to serve as a low-altitude, point-to-point transport, a Joby spokesman has said their tester has made a habit of breaking its own records, making it to 205 miles per hour, or up to 7,000 feet AGL, along the coast of Santa Cruz, California. The requested test flights will, according to the documentation provided, focus on overwater travel around an hour in the air before returning to recharge. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.